the country is sinking deep and deeper into anarchy. In the last 72 hours, very many opposition leaders have been arrested and their whereabouts are still unknown. So Ruto's government has decided to unleash the full force of the police. A few minutes ago, Uhuru Kenyatta's son's house at Karen in Nairobi was raided by the police and that forced Uhuru Kenyatta to rush there. I want us to listen to Uhuru Kenyatta before we proceed. Please, listening to Uhuru Kenyatta, Uhuru Kenyatta already knows the motive of that raid. Ruto's government is targeting him, only that they are not brave enough to face him directly. But he knows he's the target, and that's why some few days ago, we saw Mamangina's Motaiga home and Gatundo home, security were withdrawn in those homes, and now Uhuru Kenyatta's son's house has been raided. So it's clear Uhuru Kenyatta is the target, and he's also making it very clear that when he was the president, he was addressing the issues affecting the people. Why can't William Ruto also address issues affecting the people instead of looking for escape goods? I want us to dig deep into those remarks for Kenyans to understand the games being played behind the scenes. Let me start by saying this. All those are political maneuvers by William Ruto's government to silence Uhuru Kenyatta and any leader supporting Azimio. That's the main target. Listening to Uhuru Kenyatta, what does that mean politically? The first meaning to that, power is temporary. Just a few months ago, Uhuru Kenyatta was a very powerful president, but right now, the instruments of power are with somebody else, with William Samoy Ruto. So Uhuru Kenyatta no longer controls those instruments of power. Power is temporary. William Ruto should learn something from that. He will not be the president forever. One day, he'll no longer be controlling the instruments of power. And if he misuses the instruments of power against some others who have retired, then he should and must be ready that him also will also face the same consequences. When he retires or when he is kicked out of office, the same way he is misusing the instruments of power on others, they will also be used against him. That's the first lesson William Ruto should actually learn. Power is temporary. And then secondly, I'm seeing a William Ruto's team that is hell-bent on making sure there is no critical voice to this government. And that's somehow similar to our first point. That's why they are going after Uhuru Kenyatta. So that alone exposes the dictatorship in William Samuel Ruto. And all that Kenyans knew even before William Ruto became the president. And actually William Ruto is just living to that reality. Mm. That was expected even before he became the president. Ruto has to be very, very careful on how he handles power. Power corrupts and absolute power 
corrupts absolutely. Something also coming out very clearly. I'm seeing a, a government that is panicking seriously. It's a government that is not stable. That's why we are seeing all these arbitrary arrests, arrests everywhere. This government is not just sure of itself. And that can explain that already it has seen that the ground has abandoned him. Yes, the, the ground has abandoned this government. So the government is very unstable. And the, that the, the government is very unstable. And that instability is also what is making William Ruto to behave the way he is behaving. Let me stop it there for now. We are still working on a detailed analysis on the whole issue. But one thing coming out very clearly, William Ruto is working very hard for an ICC warrant of arrest. He's really working hard to get that warrant of arrest. Let's meet in our next analysis for a detailed analysis on the issue. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.